problem solving, something that every student needs to be able to do expertly by the time they leave school. One of the new strategies that we are teaching students with Eureka Math is the tape diagram method. We use it in a process called read, draw, write. For this, we read the problem, draw a solution, and write an answer to the problem. Now we're going to use the tape diagram in the read, draw, write process to show how to solve problem number two that you see on your screen. First, we read the problem. Jesse's tower of blocks is 30 centimeters tall. Sarah's tower is 9 centimeters shorter than Jesse's tower. What is the total height of both towers? Step 1. We're going to find the height of Sarah's tower. So we're going to use the information that we know on the problem and draw a tape diagram to help us solve it. So with a tape diagram, you draw rectangles, or in this case, what looks like a piece of tape. We then want to label it. This is Jesse's tower. It is 30 centimeters tall, so we are going to put 30 centimeters in the tower. Next, we need to draw Sarah's tower. We don't know how long Sarah's tower is, so we're going to put a question mark here in Sarah's rectangle. We do know that the tower is 9 centimeters shorter than Jesse's. So we draw some kind of symbol here to show from the end of Jesse's to the end of Sarah's tower equals 9 centimeters. Once we know this, we need to figure out a way to solve the problem because we need to find what is the total height of both towers. So. What is Sarah's tower then? Well, we know there's a difference of 9 centimeters, and difference in math means subtraction. So we are going to take 30 and subtract 9. There are a few ways that you could do this. You could use a number line to count backwards from 30 down 9, or you could technically count up from 9 to 30, although that would take a long time. You can also do a strategy by pulling a 10 away to make it easier to subtract. So pulling a 10 away from 30 would equal 20. We then circle the 10 minus 9 and subtract to get 1. Add the 20 and 1 together to get 21. So we now know that Sarah's tower is 21 centimeters tall. That's step one. But in our read, draw, and write method, we also need to write a sentence to explain what this answer means. So we are talking about Sarah's tower and the height, and the height being 21 centimeters. So Sarah's tower is 21 centimeters tall. That would be the read, draw, write problem solving method for the step one. Now let's look at step two. We now need to find the height of both towers together. So we once again, we draw our tape diagram. So we draw Jesse's 30 centimeters and we draw Sarah's, which we now know to be 21 centimeters. We know we want to find the height of both towers. When we see that we want to do both, we add. So we are going to add together 30 plus 21 to get our answer. Once again, there are different methods that we could use to solve this. We could look at counting up from 30 and adding 21 to it, or we could draw a picture. But I'm also going to decompose this to make it easy. I'm going to e decompose it into tens and ones. I then want to add together the tens. 30 plus 20 is 50, and 50 plus 1 is 51. So we now know the both towers are 51 centimeters in height. 
Once again, we need to write a sentence. So what are we talking about? Both towers, their height, and 51 centimeters. Both towers, are 51 centimeters together. This is how you use the read, draw, write problem solving method with the tape diagram.